that was totally not fun. Alright, now that we've come across a dead end and wasted my time, there are, see, items, but you can go search for them yourselves, since you guys go. How to get them? And another battle. Yay! So. I'm trying to make this as quick as I can to get through this because it's Puff? Is that Puffy? <coughs> oh, what's wrong? Is Timmy stuck in a well? Wait, hold on. Take it easy, Puffy. Okay, now we're Sue. <coughs> wow, she, he, he seems really agitated. Look at him, he's in seizure mode. Wait, calm down, Puffy. Wow, Puffy is very seizurely today. Wait, Justin, we're not getting anywhere this way. Let's have Puffy lead us to her. Okay, right. Okay, so take us to her, Puffy. <coughs> All right, right, we're going, we're going. As soon as I get this money, we'll, we're, we're going, we're going, man. All right, this way. See what Puffy's so really freaked out about. What happened to Sue? We, we found her shoe. Um, I'm not liking the looks of this. Puffy and Sue, where's Sue? Justin, look over there, next to the cauldron. Huh, next to the cauldron? Isn't that her bag? Uh, oh, this game is just taking a turn for the worst. J Justin, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Let's not be foolish. Now calm down, Fina. Yeah, but, but... Are you the one who... Hey, you! Is this pot yours? What happened to what was inside? Are you hungry? I'm afraid I ate it all. There's nothing left. <sighs> Fina! <sighs> that does it! Oh, no. Hey, come on and fight! I'll take you on. I'll make you into stew. Ha! <laughs> you and I in a duel. Well, how about that? I'll be glad to take you on. I am Gadwin, Knight of Dight. All right, guys, we're going going up against Gadwin. He is a beast, meaning, as a beast, you can't touch him for crap. Like so. It doesn't matter what you do. This fight is basically, um, nothing. You can't do anything. You're supposed to not win this one. So, as shown, you, you can't even touch him. He'll defend for like three, four turns. You can't do anything. Uh, uh oh, he's doing a move. Uh, we can't cancel it. Come, power of the universe! Ha! Dragon King Slice! Holy crap! Ah! Uh. Baloney! That was baloney. Ten, almost ten thousand damage. On me? On a child? Did, did, did you just see that? Is that how he handled with Sue? Oh, Sue. She got eaten. Uh, wait, Sue? Justin! Huh, Sue? That's what I said. How did I get here? He's not making stew out of us. Stew is Gadwin's special dish. It's flying dragon stew. Who, uh, who are you? This is Dr. Elma. She rescued me after I passed out in the forest. Dr. Elma is a very kind lady. She's just like my mother. I'm Dr. Elma. I have a clinic in Dite Village, up the road from here. I was surprised to hear a young man like you cross swords with Gadwin, the greatest swordsman of Dite. <laughs> I love his house. <gasps> Oh, I want that is an awesome house. 
Alma, you're insulting this young man, and I love this voice acting because I am stupid. His skill with the long sword bellies, bellies his age? Okay, whatever. Uh, oh dear, Gadwin, you haven't changed a bit since we were kids. I guess that's just the way you are. Well, I think Sue is fine now, so I'll be returning to Dite. I'll leave the rest to you, Gadwin. Alma, what is, what's the rush? You seem to be in a hurry. Is it because of the rain? And all you are going to be laughing at my voice acting skills because he's a manly man and I uh, don't have Armstrong voice, so there you go. Uh, some people have fallen ill, huh? Poor Alma. She's gone, and I didn't even thank her. Well, anyway, I say it's time to get some rest, okay, everyone? And that's what we're going to do! Because it's an RPG, and after all that trudging up the, you know, the freaking end of the world, falling down the world, and, well, falling off the end of the world, and then thought thinking stew was turned to stew, 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 hmm, eh, ah, okay, <laughs> sorry I jumped to conclusions about you, thanks for helping, Sue. <laughs> when Justin misunderstands, he does it all the way, heart. <laughs> In honor of... <laughs> Hyper Paul. I love that. I love how he does that. Heart. <laughs> hey, come on. I didn't do that. Don't be foolish, Justin. <laughs> okay, no big deal. Everyone makes mistakes, right? Right, right, right. Even so, we now know that the wall is not really the end of the world, but it sure is impressive, even though we almost got killed. And boy, was I surprised to find out that people are living here on the other side of the end of the world. Well, I was quite impressed myself. I never dreamed that people would come from the other side of the wall. Well, it seems to me you've got what it takes to do my kind of work. What do you say? Will you try to master the way of a man? Uh, why are you asking this of Justin? Don't put ideas in Justin's head. It's bad enough that he dragged us all the way here. <laughs> This round one here tried to kick me away. Oh, uh, must be Puffy. Puffy was just trying to protect me, right, Puffy? Puff Puff? Aww. So, Justin, is it true that the three of you crossed that huge wall? At the end of the world? Of course it's true. We came here on an adventure, looking for the ruins of the Angelo civilization. If you guys remember, that was our main objective in this. We crossed the end of the world, and now we're going to go to Alent to go see... Liete. And we will do it. So, if we're gonna ask, um, haha, <laughs> Dr. Alba, your girlfriend. Ah, <laughs> I doubt it. Um, well, since we're looking for a Lent, but, mm, you know what? I'm gonna ask about this place. This is the Valley of the Flying Dragon. It is the place closest to the end of the world, and it has the world's steepest mountains. It's a good place to sharpen your sword and your skills as a warrior. That's right. From this side of the wall, this area must be was be seen as the end of the world. So it's like what the misty forest is to people on our side of the wall. You can imagine how I felt when I found an unconscious young girl here. Surprise the heck out of me! Gadwin, you've been such a big help to us, and especially to Sue. We must somehow repay you. We like to help you in any way we can, if you ever need our help. Okay, Justin, may I consider that a man to man of course, man to man, homie G. We're gonna go and help each other because that's what men do. We're manly men and oh my god, I am done. Well, time to get some sleep. Tomorrow I'll show you Dite Village. Dite, huh? I wonder what that village is like. Isn't it gonna be great? More adventures! Now we're going into uncharted area, guys. We are one of the few or only people who have crossed the end of the world alive, apparently. So, next time, I'm gonna enter this fish. So next time in Grandia, I don't know how many parts this is, it might be in two parts, but we will uh, go through the Valley of the Dragon and enter Dite Village. Until then, this is Kansky signing off saying, catch you later and I'll see you on another episode. Bye bye now.